Let's go. Let's lose control. This the oh, is this the old lady? In the criminal justice system, street racing offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Street Racing Prevention Unit. These are their stories. Fucking Honda Pilot with Tommy Liability. Oh, Tommy Liability. Go oh, fuck out reliability. It ain't fast enough, bitch. It's boring. 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 Fuck out my way with this eco egg, bitch! Get the fuck out my way! Uh oh, uh oh, we got some shit going on. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? We got some shit going on. Oh shit! Oh shit! What happened? What happened? What happened? Uh oh. Uh oh, I think it's a car accident. Oh shit! There's some shit going down. But I wish I could see it. Oh shit! A BMW. Uh oh. It's always a BMW, it never fails. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, I can't see. Alright, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's see what's going on. Shit, they arrested these turkeys. Come on, Smokey, god damn it, get out of the way, you fuck. Smokey's gonna put you in the pokey. Smokey put you in the pokey. Smokey put you in the pokey. Oh shit. Smokey done put you in the pokey. Oh man, that sucks. Now, you wonder why there's always all this goddamn traffic. Well, it's another goddamn infinity. It's always an infinity. Look at this guy. Look, look at this guy right here. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh my God. Look at this guy. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can put your hand up on your on your head right now, but you should have been more careful driving that stupid infinity. You should get adaptive cruise control like me. See, all you got to do. It's just push one button and then the car goes into adaptive cruise control mode, automatically slows itself down, steers it. Well, it doesn't steer itself. I gotta get the uh, Cadillac for that. But slows itself down, keeps its distance. What you don't see is you don't see me crashing into people every other day. Now, why? Now, now mind you, now mind you, the accident, now watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh shit, nope, nope, nope. I gotta put my foot on the brake. I thought that shit was gonna hit that ball. Okay. Okay, wait, okay, let's let's try it again. Let's try it again. So as I was saying, if the accident's back there, why is there so much tra uh oh, see, see, now it's like, oh, there it goes, slow to a stop. That I didn't do that, it did. Alright. So yeah. If the accident's back there, why is there so much traffic up there? What's going on here? Look at this guy's license plate. It says not a stat. I don't know what that means. Not a stat, okay? I don't know. So now it says, okay, canceled the mode, so you gotta restart it. So you give them some distance, hit the button, boom, does it itself. When I get my electric Cadillac, I am going to be the king of traffic. I am going to simply sit in the car and let the car just drive itself. I'm gonna be sitting back, sipping some juice or whatever, because you can't sip wine, it's not like on the airplane. And I am just gonna be chilling. All the rest of these people, their feet are gonna be hurting because they've gotta push the accelerator every time they wanna speed up and slow down. Not me, not me. I'm gonna have my Cadillac with its super cruise and it's automatically gonna drive for me. That's what I'm waiting for. Now I gotta wait till GM hurries the hell up and builds the goddamn thing. But I am so excited, so excited. This way I don't end up like loser back there with that stupid infinity crashing into people. Endangering the public, endangering lives. You know, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Now, sit this chick right here, she got her aviator and she's feeling good. Looking like Whitey Bulger in there. Feeling good about herself. She's feeling good. Look at that. She got the aviator. She's driving around like she's Ellen Ripley. 
feel good about herself. Got herself a big, beautiful aviator, just smiling. Look, look at this. Look at her license plate. Look what her license plate says. Look at this. It says Big Mouth. Her license plate says Big Mouth. I think that might be sexual innuendo. I don't think she's just talking about that she talks too much. No, no, no. That might be some sexual innuendo right there. Big Mouth. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. God bless her. This sucks, man. I'm so sick and tired of this goddamn traffic. This is ridiculous. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. You better hope the adaptive cruise control slows down for you. Otherwise, you're getting a hit. Let's speed, let's speed it up to a maximum. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. This guy with this piece of shit Honda Accord making a lot of fucking noise. Okay, let's go to 70, 70 miles per hour. Let's, let's speed up a little. See, the only problem with these adaptive cruise controls, and I think they even proved that this happens with Tesla, if you're adapting to the next person, right, and then they suddenly jump out the way, for whatever reason, the radar doesn't understand that, and the radar starts to speed up, and it will hit the next thing. So if you're in a Tesla and you're, like, doing something you're not supposed to be doing, like sleep or something, there's a chance that you can get in an accident just because somebody got out of your way. Now, this guy who's the minivan, he thinks he's going to get in front of me. You're not getting in front of me. Not getting in front of me. It's not happening. So, uh-oh, watch this. You see? Car slows itself. There you go. There you go. I didn't even have to use my foot. Look at that. Car is so smart. You're such a smart car. Thank you very much. You're a smart car. This fucking sucks. I'm tired of this traffic and these people. Why are you getting into accidents in front of me? This is getting into accidents behind me, not in front of me. This guy right here with the Tesla. This guy got the Tesla right here. And he's got red brakes and he's feeling good about himself. Feeling really good about himself. He got his red brakes, the performance Tesla. He got the performance Tesla. So that mean, you know what that means? He's faster than all of these Econo cars. He's not faster than me, but he's faster than the Econo boxes. Tesla Model 3. Now, it's too bad because from what I looked into his car and I saw him using his hands on the wheel. So what that means is that he's cheap and he didn't buy the Tesla full autopilot and he didn't pay the $10,000 or whatever it is that Tesla's charging. Now, if he does go ahead and pay it, his car can drive itself and deal with this traffic all by itself. And that's all I asked for. That's all I asked for. I'm so sick and tired of this fucking traffic. It's just, uh, I can't believe this, man. This doesn't, this doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. Uh, I, I mean, you know, this is like a crime against humanity that we've got to deal with this bullshit every freaking day. This is a crime against, like, humanity. It really is. It really, really is. Now, I know the first thing somebody's going to say is, hey, yeah, we'll just move out of New York. Well, here's the problem, though. Most of the other states suck or they have nothing there. And um, I would actually prefer to move to a state that has nothing there than to move to a state that sucks. So, you know, chances are I'd go to, like, South Dakota or North Dakota, and there's, like, nothing there. There's nothing there. And, you know, it's like, I don't know. What would I do there? It's like work on an oil well. It's like, what would I do? You know, there's nothing there. It's like, what, there's only two things to do in North Dakota. Work on an oil drill or to shoot bison. And that's like it. There's nothing else there. Nothing else there. I mean, California farmed out a lot of its people by pricing them out of the state. And California fucked up Washington and Oregon. But you know where, you know where California didn't screw up? They didn't screw up. North Dakota and South Dakota because even those Californians are like, yeah, I don't want to go there because there's nothing there. Even they know it. There's nothing there. Absolutely nothing there. It's like, I don't know why people complain so much about bringing in illegal aliens. We might as well just ship them to North Dakota and South Dakota. At least there'll be something there. You know, we'll have illegal aliens. We have a whole state for illegal aliens. In fact, we could take North Dakota, we could make it a legal alien state, and then we could take South Dakota, we could put homeless people there. That would be perfect. It's like you take care of two problems at the same time. So this way, all of our, uh, you know, the cheap stuff that you want processed, what you do is you ship it to South Dakota or North Dakota, and those people have jobs. 
You know, in fact, who knows? You could build a thriving metropolis out of homeless people or, you know, illegal aliens. You could build a thriving metropolis in South Dakota and North Dakota. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. It's like it makes so much sense. And if not those two states, you could always go to Alaska and you could take the homeless people up there. They could pump oil, you know, but you got these goddamn liberals who don't want you to pump oil because they want to create scarcity. So you can either ship the homeless people to Alaska that shit, the homeless and the illegals, you can ship them up to Alaska and you, they can pump oil. That's right, all of them. The women too, they can all pump oil. Or they could do their part to help pump oil. That's what they could do. Lower these gas prices. This sucks. I'm so sick and tired of this nonsense. Oh. A lot of these women with these Dodge Durangos, it's like these women are feeling all strong and big and like they got all the power and everything. A lot of these women with these Dodge Durangos, these big, big, big Escalades and Tahoes, it's like they're rolling around like like Ellen Ripley, like with the power loader armor. It's like, it's crazy. And let me tell you something, they get really aggressive in traffic. Cause I was racing one this morning, I had a Ford Fusion. She was really, really aggressive. At first I thought it was a guy. And then I looked in there, I was like, oh, that's a woman. See, the thing about it is women get really aggressive cause they don't understand the consequences of like, you know, physics. You know, if you get into an accident at those speeds, you get fucked up. That's why, I, look, look back there to the infinity. She didn't get it. Now she understands. She's like, oh shit. There's consequences to my stupid shit. That's right, there are, there are consequences. So that's the one thing I like about uh, nature and gravity and the laws of thermodynamics. No matter what these liberals say, they can't beat nature. They can't beat the law. They can talk all the shit. Would you believe that there's a story right now that says the Supreme Court had to, had to rule that an elephant isn't a person. And you'd be like, well, what kind, of, what kind of stupid person brought a case like that to the Supreme Court? But these people are so insane that they literally try to make you believe things that just ain't so. An elephant is not a person. So why would you get a case in the Supreme Court where they would literally have to rule that an elephant's not a person? But these people are fucking nuts. Now, you better not try to get over here. Yeah, you better not. I don't know what that guy's thinking. That guy looked like he was getting aggressive. He's like he's going to try to cut in front of him. All right, so anyway. Yeah, no matter what they try to say, no matter what they try to make you say, and all the words they try to make you use, you can't beat nature. You just can't do it. And that's why I appreciate nature. I appreciate nature, and I appreciate laws, like the laws of thermodynamics. It's like, no matter what you believe, that shit doesn't mean anything. The laws are put in place and you will obey them. It's like you people will be jumping off buildings, y'all think y'all can fly? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see in 9.8 meters per second squared how well you can fly. We'll see. I love it. I absolutely love it. This is so boring. God damn, this is boring. Santa Fe. This guy with his Nissan Ultima energy, he's got the spoiler and everything. This guy's got Nissan Ultima energy right here. Cheating girlfriend car. Does your girlfriend know you got her car? She needs it so she can go out and cheat. Oh, donor cycle. Yeah, my uncle needs a pair of kidneys. So, uh, yeah, you... Just keep skating in and out of traffic and see what happens. Yeah, my uncle needs some kidneys if you don't mind. You could donate them. <sighs> God damn this traffic. Alright, well, I'm about to cam down. I'll cam back up if there's another car accident because I'm still trying to figure out why the fuck everything's moving so slow. So if there's a car accident, I'll cam back up. We'll see what happens. New brake rotors, brake rotors, brake pads, brand new. Let's get it. So they got, these are the rears. The rears got a little bit of life on them. You can see right there. There's a bit of life right there on them. So I don't have to do the rears today, which is good. 
Yep. As you can see, this is why I was talking about getting new wheels. Because these, these, these are the Vapor Chrome wheels. And after, what, 77,000 miles, after a while, that Vapor Chrome starts to peel off. Now, it's hard to notice from a distance, but, you know, there's the option is you can get regular stainless steel or whatever, or regular aluminum, I think it is, or you could get it in black. Or In fact, if I really wanted to, I could paint these in black and just cover that up. But, but I, you know, at this point, I don't think I'm going to spend the money. I think I'm just going to let Cadillac trade this bastard in, give me my, give me my Lyric. In fact, I can get $40,000 for this truck, despite the fact this thing's got 77,000 miles, because there's somebody out there who'll take this shit and they'll build a race car out of it. You know, so they'll do all the mods and shit that I never did. Look at that, I got the toe cap. You don't even get the toe cap no more. Tricock doesn't give you the fucking toe cap, those cheap bastards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks good. I've, I've kept this thing in very good condition, haven't I? But I'm not gonna have to worry about it come February. I'm gonna get my electric Cadillac. Electric Cadillac. Shit gonna drive itself. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's cool. You guys do a burnouts in the yard and everything? Oh no, I'm gonna keep that car in perfect condition. I like I don't know what happens when the Cadillac gets here, but if they give me Alrighty. So we're all prepped. We got the system all ready. We got the brakes. We got these new brake pads. New brake pads. Brand new brake pads. Brand new rotors. So I'm ready. Because see, that's the problem. When you got an SRT and you speed all the time, what ends up happening is you wear down your brakes. You wear them down very quickly. So let's uh, enjoy some air quality got this air quality going on and uh basically i usually come to may this because see the the problem is the chrysler shop it's like obviously the dealer's going to charge you way more to get the job done so what i do is i buy the brembo parts and then i just bring them to any shop that will do the work that i can trust and they you know their their work is warranted so i come to mavis and uh that's good you know so I guess I get to seat my own pads. I get to seat my own pads. All right, let's check and see if it stops. Okay, that sounds good. It stops, yay. There's actually a Chrysler dealership right up the block, but I'm pretty sure if I go there, the only thing they even have there is those Wagoneers because like Chrysler hasn't made any new products like lately. Alright. Who's this guy? Uh, car wash, yeah. It cost me four hundred and fifty dollars. But I haven't had to change my brake pads since a year ago. So that's actually not bad. And I wasn't very low either, so I didn't get to the point where you start the you know the rubbing metal on metal. But um yeah, four hundred and fifty dollars. And um, I already brought my pads. My pads were for the back and the front. It was two hundred and ten dollars. Uh, so I got two sets of pads, but I only had this guy exchange one set of pads because I really I needed the rotors. That was the thing. It's like one of the things about these SRT cars, and God knows how long these cars will be being sold because, as you know, they're getting rid of these engines. But one of the things about SRT cars is if you replace your brakes, if you replace the pads, it's like every two times you do a, a brake replacement, you wanna replace the rotors. Because if you have any wear on those rotors whatsoever, the vibration, you will feel it every time you have to stop. When you have a nice flat rotor, that's the OEM rotor, and you have the Brembo brake pads, and they make a nice, perfect, flat contact, it's like it feels very smooth to slow down, no matter what speed you're slowing down from. 
But if you have any damage to those rotors, like if you have any cracks, if you have any warping whatsoever, when you are braking with these trucks, you fucking feel it. Same thing goes for the, the heavy cars, like the 300 SRT and the Hellcat. Same thing goes. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, it was 450 for a front. And I, th I think part of that was because the rotors were so expensive. The rotors were like 160 a piece or something like that. But I think he gave me some type of discount on it. But right now, because of these parts supplier issues, it's like I'm not even too picky about it. Um, other than that, I mean, you know, I'm feeling, you know, I'm, I'm just happy to get it done. Because the thing about it is... I don't know what the rest of the year is going to look like. I don't know how long I'm going to have to wait for my Cadillac. So, it, it, it looks like it's going to be January or February. Yeah, see, there's the dealer right there. There's one dealer. Yeah, so let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. Now I'm going to spin around and leave. Yeah, let's see what they... They probably got nothing but, like, wagon ears up there. But see, my thing right now is, is it's like if you're buying a car right now, you should be buying an electric car. And you can do whatever you want. Yep, look at this. It's Wagoneers, Wagoneers. That's all it is. It's a bunch of Wagoneers, new Jeep WLs, and Jeep Grand Cherokee, the brand new ones. I, I hate to complain that there's no new products, but the thing about it is we need new cars. Because, see, we got, we got SUVs up the ass. Cars, new cars. <coughs> Let's see, how can I do a nice turnaround? I could do this Sayas, but I really don't want to do that. Let me get over here. Yeah, I'll turn around. Yeah, so you know, I'm, I'm just babying it to seat the pads, but so far it feels good. So far, so good, right? It feels good. so good yeah, you can see my man it's amazing how people keep those old ass Lexus LS 450s and those things are so old but my guess is you know he probably you know he might have bought it used he might have he might have actually bought the shit new and just kept it for 20 years that car is old pretty that car is like that car is like a 90 something that car is like mad old they made that car back when mercedes look like those Ugh. <laughs> oh it's a woman yeah so i'm glad i got that done because this you know this way I don't have to worry about uh, not being able to stop. Yeah, the, the back brakes wear really slowly. It's like you're usually able to exchange your front pads at least twice before you even have to look at the back, you know? So usually when I'll buy my pads, I usually just buy the front and the back and I'll just wait until I hear a squeal at the back and then I'll just change the back. But th this car is actually really good on back brakes. But then again, most cars are good on, ba on back brakes. The rear brakes, they wear the slowest, so that's good.
goodness, what is this? What is this? This looks like a party. They're having a party out here? Oh shit, nope, nope, nope. There's a ZDX. Goddamn accuracy. It's goddamn accurate. Slowing every look at this. Slowing everything down. You see this? Everything was moving just fine without the stupid accuracy. Never fails. Oh shit, we gotta get off. Alright, come on, CLA, let's do this. Come on, come on. Shut up. Check your brakes right there. Let me get from behind this guy. Just got to make sure the brakes work. Coming right up, this is where I get my ammunition for my Desert Eagle and my AR-15. Are they open? No, they're not. Oh, maybe they are. I don't know. I don't have to go there today. Hofstra University. The students I rent my property to, they are students of Hofstra University.
up this Planned Parenthood. People out here start some shit. Abortion is murder. How dare you? It's like me personally, I don't have any problem with what women do with their bodies as long as my tax dollars aren't paying for it. Like you can do whatever the hell you want as long as my tax dollars aren't paying for it. So, you, you know, if you want to chop yourself up, that's not my problem. I could care less. You could do whatever you want to your body just so long as none of my tax dollars go to pay for it. I'm tired of this welfare state nonsense. There it is. There it is right there. There it is. There it is right there. So what's going on today? Any protests? Anybody protesting today? Fuck is that so? Oh, that's a great in the street. Uh-oh. Any protests? Any protests today? No protests? Um, stop the bands no 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 I don't listen I don't I have no problem with the bands my problem is I don't want my tax dollars paying for it you can do whatever you want you can chop yourself up you could you know wear those stupid nose rings and I don't give a shit it's like just don't fucking I don't want none of my tax dollars paying for that shit that shit this should have never been uh, federally funded abortion at all. That shit should have always been state funded only. State rights. The Tenth Amendment says that any right not delegated by the Constitution is reserved to the states. So as long as I'm not paying for it, I don't give a fuck. Do whatever you want. I, I don't care. As long as I'm not paying for it. I think you get the picture. I think you get the picture. This is Hempstead. For those of you who don't know the area. What's going on today? It's actually a very, very quiet day. Pretty quiet. Well, you know, with the exception of those couple of accidents that we just saw, but you know, it's pretty quiet. La Savoyana Bakery Cafeteria.
Pretty nice, uh, nice and quiet. Nice and quiet, eh? Nice and quiet. So now it's morning of the next day, and look who I'm next to again. Now I can recognize her in traffic. Isn't that amazing, like, when you keep going the same route and you start recognizing people? That's Big Mouth right there. Someday I'm going to roll down my window and talk to her with her aviator. That's Big Mouth, right? Yeah, she just looked at me, so, she, so now she knows she's on YouTube. Look at this fucking bullshit. It's fucking 557. Look at this fucking traffic. This is fucking ridiculous. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. This is ridiculous. 557? Really? So even if you get up and leave your house earlier, you still run into the same goddamn fucking traffic. Look at this guy. Look at this guy right here. This Napoleon Dynamite looking Volkswagen Passat driving. Uh, got the big bird hair. And he's up there looking at me like, oh, can, can I get in, please? Would you let me in? Would you please let me in? Can I cut in? This Napoleon Dynamite hair looking. Egon Spengler from Ghostbusters looking. Anyway, anyway, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave that kid alone. I'm gonna leave that kid alone. He's just a kid. He's just a kid. Egon from Ghostbusters. Oh my God! Look at this. This traffic is ridiculous. It doesn't even make any sense. It's like you you think that the earlier you get up, there'd be nobody out here. And then, sure enough, everybody's out here. This doesn't even make any sense. I'm just gonna hit my distance control, set that to about, uh, I don't know, about 80, and just coast. See, this is the reason why, I said it a million times, I have to have that Cadillac self-driving. This way I don't have to touch this wheel. I can just put my hand right there and just let the car just drive itself. That's what I need. I need the self-driving, you know? It's like all these people are like, oh, you don't want that. The car don't have a soul. It's like it won't be exciting. It's like you just don't get it, do you? You just don't get it. It's like, you know, being in traffic's not exciting. Oh, man. It's like your bike only got like one wheel on it. got caught uh-oh okay finally something interesting somebody got caught over there uh-oh can't wait to see who got caught somebody got caught doing something stupid let's see let's see what he did it's probably he's probably speeding see they don't understand that's one reason why it's like you know you kind of you can't really be speeding too much because the problem is the cops know the traffic's fucked up cops know that you get upset and that you're going to start speeding because you're, you're trying to, you know, feel living again, you know. So what they do is they set themselves up right next to these bridges, these underpasses, and they're waiting and watching. And as soon as you try to pass them, you're done. They got you. What's this? Is that a cop? Oh, wait. You know, I think that's an emergency service vehicle. Actually, I'm not really sure. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, this guy got caught. This guy got caught. What'd you, you up there? Uh oh, he's got the Chrysler 300. Yup, he's Dodge Boys. It's Dodge Boys. Always speed. He's Dodge Boys. He's Dodge Boys. He's got the Chrysler 300. Speed. He got caught, bro. It's too bad. So here we go. Another morning. This is uh, Thursday morning. Look at this guy right here. 
This guy's got the Lamborghini, and this one looks like an Evo or something. I can't really see it too well, but I'll get closer to the guy. This guy's got a, one of those little V10s. Personally, I don't like the V10s. It's like, if you're gonna go big, you gotta go big or get out. It's like, you get the V12. But, uh, you know, that's just what it is. Now, we have a store where we do business, Lamborghini Long Island, and uh, it's uh, next to Westbury. And uh, they will lease you one of these Lamborghinis right here for about 2,500 a month. Now, because supply shortages have been where they've been, you might have to spend a little bit more than 2,000 a month. It might be like 3,000 a month, but for the most part, that's where it is. And as you know, like I've done videos about Cloud9 Exotics. If you wanna rent a Lamborghini Aventador, as long as you have like a, I think it's just $5,000 deposit on your credit card, you can rent an Aventador for about $2,000 per day. I'm gonna get around these people tired these days. I'm trying to get closer to this guy and these motherfuckers driving all slow and shit. Fucking wage slaves. Yeah, get in there, Camry, come on. Freaking Camry, stupid Camry, come on, let's go. What are you doing? You know, it's funny, no matter how fast your car is, no matter how cool your car is, you're stuck in fucking traffic just like everybody else. And that's not fun at all. All right, let me just hit my uh, adaptive cruise control so this way I don't have to pay attention to this stupid slow-ass camera right here. Oh, good, the camera's moving. Thank you, jerk off. Fucking wage slaves. This guy is maintaining so much distance. Yeah, I'll get in front of you, camera. I'm tired of your shit. All right. So, yeah, just drop it to 55. Maybe I'll drop up to about 680. About, about 80 miles per hour. See? Yeah, the sports cars are cool and everything, but me personally, I'm ready for electric. If I had that Tesla played mode, I can race the shit out of this guy, and he loses. That Tesla play boat, or that Tesla Roadster. But I honestly, I ain't trying to race nobody. That shit is boring. And dangerous, not to mention. can't be around a stupid fucking Camry. God forbid that guy looks at me. I'm going to be pissed off at him. Stupid fucking Camry idiot. Because I blew at him, so he's probably going to look at me when I go by, and he's going to be looking straight at my fucking camera. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to get right in the middle lane just so this idiot can pull up on me, too. Let him pull up. So he doesn't understand. Mr. Desert Eagle don't joke. You wanna pull up? Come on, pull up, Camry, come on. Come on, but come on, Camry, I'm gonna throw on my distance control, pull up. Oh, okay, Camry ain't interested in pulling up. Clown ass. Yeah, that's right, I was blowing at you. Yeah, that's right, I was blowing at you, Camry. I was blowing at you. Yeah, I was blowing at you, that's right. What's up? All right, back off camera. It's like, I ain't, I ain't young Dolph over here, Camry. You pull up, you get dealt with. Camry. Clown ass. See, this, they got to do something about this traffic because I personally feel that traffic creates uh, road rage. Me personally, that's what I think. I think they got to do something to address this traffic because... It just makes people revert to their feral, uh, their, their feral, like, uh, you know, caveman selves, basically, you know? It, it's like, it, it causes people to just be upset. They gotta do something about this travel. 
camera. He's up there giving me naughty looks like he's Santa Claus. And he got a list and he checking it twice. It's like, I don't know what you think this is, Cameron. Get to be right behind this Chrysler 300. He's got the boat tail. Despite the fact that he doesn't have the Hemi like I did. He doesn't have the 6.4. It's a damn shame. Look at this idiot Cameron. Look at this stupid motherfucker. Going over the line and shit. Fuck that. These are Chrysler products. Get back. Back up. <laughs> Stuck between a Jeep, a Jeep, and a Chrysler 300. That's hilarious. things are moving pretty smoothly so hopefully it continues like this looks like things are moving slow uh oh uh oh somebody got caught somebody got caught why are you speeding if they're speeding you're endangering the public this is what happens when you don't be speeding uh oh who got caught who got caught oh oh look at you oh look at you look at that oh you got caught in a minivan how embarrassing how embarrassing that's sad. Look at the Camry. Look at the Camry speed. Like he's doing something with his little four cylinder. Look at him. Look at his Camry. This guy. Guy looking like the drama Hansu up in that camera. Speed. Looking like Papa Smoke. What's up, Papa Smoke? Papa Smoke. Yeah, anyway. Well, at least traffic's moving. I'm, I'm thankful for that because I'm so tired of traffic. I'm tired of it. Oh, why are you slowing down? Excellent time right now. This is how it's supposed to be. Making an excellent time towards the city. This is the way it's, this is the way it should be. Yeah, making an excellent time. Throw my adaption. Alright. Chrysler 300 was a really cool car. I really do. It looks classy enough to drive around in the city. And 
You don't even really need the Hemi. You can just have all-wheel drive and be happy. I have plenty of tech stuff. So far, so good. So this is Father's Day. Father's Day. That's what you got. Four dollars and seventy-four cents for freaking regular. Five twenty-nine for premium. So that means that since the last time I was here, it's actually up four cents because it was like five twenty-five last time I came. Wow. Yeah, what a great way to celebrate Father's Day than having to overpay for gasoline in your Nissan Rogue. <laughs> I would like to think that there's an end in sight, but I think it's important to remember that we're not even in summer yet. Summer doesn't officially start until June 23rd. This is a travesty. But as I said, I'm going to end up selling off oil stock. I'm going to wait until probably the 4th of July. I'm going to wait until like peak oil production because the thing about it is a lot of people you know we got to go driving on vacations and road trips and everything i'm gonna wait right until peak i just call it peak oil i'm gonna wait until peak oil and i'm gonna sell this is insane i mean how could you have a good father's day when you're facing 40 year high inflation you're facing gas prices that are so ridiculously high that uh, you can't afford to really go anywhere. And if you do go somewhere, it's going to cost you tremendously. How could you have a good Father's Day? How could you? You got Joe Biden falling off his bicycle. It's like, it's just ridiculous at this point. I tell you. It's, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous at this point. Uh-oh. Somebody got the CTS. I look like a CTS V, but I can't really tell from here because I can't see the rest of it. I gotta say, those twin turbo V8s are in no way as good as the supercharged LSA. And I drove the CTS-V Coupe. That that LSA engine, that was a freaking cool car. Up in, And that came before Hellcats ever came out. But when Dodge made those Hellcats, they absolutely killed that shit with that engine. They killed it. And, and they made GM look silly. So I tell you, when they go to electric... I'm sure you'll have some, you know, car makers making fast cars. You'll have some car makers making, you know, moderately quick cars. But for the most part, it's like the days of these engines, when you're dealing with this kind of gas prices, those days are over. It's like this shit is over. It's unsustainable. That's part of what killed the V12. It was, unsust it was just unsustainable. What is this guy doing? So this guy's on that one. Who is that Hyundai Palisade going? Is he going that way or he's going this way? I don't know. Whatever. This sucks. See the look on his face? He's standing outside of his little Mazda. That's the American father right there. You see this guy? This guy is the American father. That's what the American father looks like right now. The American father has been beaten down by gas prices. The American father has been absolutely run down by the, the, the cost of these fuel prices. And, and it's just so sad. It's like, it's absolutely ridiculous how, 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 how just sad they look. They're just run down sad just beaten down and and he's got the mazda and you know that thing you know it's pretty good on fuel because it's got one of those rotary engines or some shit i don't even know what that thing's got it's slow it's slow it's just slow let's just say it like that and and that's that's the american father right now he's the, this guy right here might as well be the thumbnail this guy is the perfect example of father's day in america he's obese he's got this four-cylinder car because he can't get the escalade and he's waiting for this gas, like all the rest of us were suffering, we're waiting for this gas. And gas is four, four what is it, 529, I think. And and he's got, what is this? Is this guy wearing Jordans? Holy shit, this guy's hip. So anyway, this guy's wearing Jordans or something? Okay, so anyway, that guy right there, that's what the American father looks like in 2022. You know, it's a damn shame. It really is a damn shame. I'm, 
I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I'm really embarrassed. I got my president falling off bicycles. It's like, I, I just don't know what to say anymore. I, I really don't know what to say. It, it, it just hurts. It just hurts. Now he's about to get to his gas. I'm about to get my gas. You got this guy right here with the Acura. It's like, it, it, it just hurts. Man. It just hurts. It's not, it's not fair. What, what does his shirt say? His shirt says something. But I, I don't know. I don't know what to say, man. It's not, it's not fair. It's not funny. It's like, we're, we're just sinking. This is what recession looks like. You know, recession means to recede. This is what it looks like. This is what it feels like. It's not good. I'm very upset. Very embarrassed. You know, how, how am I supposed to hold my head up around these people who come from other countries, you know, that are actually on the move and doing stuff? It's like, here I am suffering alongside, you know, my American brothers and sisters that were suffering. It's like, what, 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 what am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to say? Yeah, and they're probably out there having a conversation about how fucking high gas is. Let's see if we could uh, listen in on that. Hold on. What are they saying, dude? He's like, oh man, I wish I could get that Jeep SRT, but the problem is that thing's got a V8. I can't afford that shit because it's gas too goddamn high. It's like, well, listen, when I get my electric Cadillac, if you want to buy this car, that's cool. You know, if you've got the cash, because you know you might not have it because of this recession and whatnot. So, you know. I thought we were having a conversation about politics, but I guess not. Uh, okay, well, here we go. 529. Here we go. Yeah, this chick right here, she runs this uh, Ram 1500. So we got a lot of these tough girls. They run these trucks. Not like these over here with the stupid Nissans. These tough chicks. These, run, these tough women, they run them trucks. That's real work, baby. Got these chicks. Oh, my God. $16 already for three gallons. Wow. Uh-oh. Watch out, huh? These tough chicks run these tricks. Yeah, well. Uh I, see, my issue is, now, during the summer, I intend to take it easy. I'm not going to be driving much. I have, like, no vacations planned. And um, I'm going to be taking it pretty easy. And I'm not going anywhere. I don't have any road trips planned. So, for the most part, I think I can cut down my fuel usage. You know? For the most part. $60 already. There we go. But ultimately, right now, it costs a hundred at, at five dollars and twenty-nine cents. It costs a hundred and twenty-six dollars to fill this car up because this has a 24-gallon gas tank. So at $5.29, it costs a hundred and twenty-six dollars. I'm going to go right here to 80, because the thing about it is I don't really need to do that much driving. Okay, come on, let's go. 80, 80, 80, 80. 80, 80, 80, 80. There we go. Fifteen gallons. There you go. Okay. Wow, that was fun. All right. All right. 76,470 miles. We're going good. <coughs> yeah, so that's that. Yeah, but let me tell you, that's the thing. No joy in Loveland right now. Look at this aviator. That's nice. It's a nice little truck. See, and I, I will say this. It's like, 
this whole thing, the V8 is basically freaking dead. It's like they can't build a V8 anymore without twin turbos. They can't even put a supercharger in it because of the regulations forcing them to get a certain fuel economy. And most of these V8s can't do it because they have a large displacement. And on top of the large displacement, those uh, forced induction also causes them to use a lot of fuel faster. So V8s are dead. So basically it's all about electric. Oh yeah, no thought, no problem. Happy Father's Day. So anyway, yeah, it's all about forced induction right now. And um, that's basically that. I mean, you know, they're gonna go electric vehicle on everything. Some people wanna believe that they're gonna do electric hybrids. But electric hybrids really don't make sense because they're too complex. It's like when you have a hybrid engine and you've got that electric shit in the car, it doesn't make any sense. It's actually easier to just have the electric motors and the regenerative brakes and the battery. And that's basically it. It's just a simple platform. When you're talking about having all of this, you're talking about having all of this uh, hybrid stuff, that none of that makes sense because now it just gets so much more complex until the uh, costs to repair these things go sky high. It's not as easy as just replacing an electric motor or replacing a battery pack. It's not as easy. So um, I'm ready. To, I'm ready for the future. I'm ready. Listen, if they had flying cars today, I'd be getting a flying car tomorrow. But uh, I'm just, uh, you know, I don't. Oh, look at this guy. I just saw this guy pass by. I thought, whoa, what the hell? Oh, shit, we got Lamborghinis. We got Lamborghinis around here. What's this? Oh, shit. Lambos. That guy must have, he must have sold his Bitcoin. He must have sold out his Bitcoin. That looks like a red eye. But I, I can't tell because they put the 2018 red eye hood on just about everything, those morons. You got Lamborghinis. Driving by with Lamborghini. That Aventador, that shit is old now. It's like they need to make a new car. It's like they got the Countach. But uh, I think those things cost like $2 million. It's like, who the fuck's buying that? <clears throat> I just want y'all to pay attention to all of these YouTubers who, who their channels have dried up. All the SRT products have come to an end. Their channels have dried up. The Lamborghini rentals and leases, that shit didn't go nowhere either. They were up there one, one minute, they, they get, oh yeah, I got myself a Lamborghini. I got myself a Lamborghini for my wife. Got myself a Lamborghini for my girlfriend. All of a sudden, shit. <laughs> you got this guy, there's a guy with a channel, Ice Cream Vlogs, and this motherfucker goes after everybody for basically fraud. <laughs> and he's like exposing everybody. It's a damn shame. So like, yeah, I got myself a yours. And I got myself a Lamb Lamborghini. It's like, yeah, that didn't go too well. Father's Day traffic. How about that? Father's Day traffic. Now, all these people, I have no idea where these people are going at 3.23 p.m. How, where are these people going? I don't know. I don't know why there's all this traffic. Got a father right there with his uh, Tesla Model Y. Okay. Now, I have no idea where all these people are going. Like, where are these people going? Like, why is it necessary that all of you are out here? Look at this guy. Why, why is it necessary that all these people are out here? Like, why? Like, why is there so much freaking traffic? I have no freaking clue why there's so much traffic out here. But this is, this is, this is an everyday thing. This is like a crime against humanity. It's an absolute crime. It's, it's not even fun. Is. <sighs> yeah, but that's... This is New York, man. This is what we deal with. It's like this traffic for no reason at all. <laughs> like, there's just no reason. No reason at all. Look at this guy. Why, why you gotta get over here? Come on. Just, that's basically it. It's like, I would say that this is probably the worst Father's Day 
on record. I mean, you have so many factors that it could be argued that this is just the worst. I mean, this is that's that's just what it is. It's like so many factors playing a role in making this a shitty Father's Day. You've got the worst inflation ever. You've got high gas prices. You've got extremely high travel costs. It can't go nowhere. Or, I mean, you could, but it's going to cost you a lot of money. You've got supply shortages. You've got my president falling off bicycles. I mean, I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. But you got to keep your head up. Keep on moving forward for whatever reason. But that's just what it is. It sucks. See, what I usually do... I go with my parents and we go out before Father's Day or before Mother's Day. So this way we don't have to deal with all this insanity and the, the bookings of restaurants and stuff. But, uh, yeah, this. Oh, God, this sucks. <laughs> Continued.